Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video in this Django tutorial series. And uh, in this video, we are going to learn how we can edit the reviews and delete them as well. So let's get started. And in the views, let's just go ahead and create the edit function. Edit the reviews. So we'll get define edit review request. And it's going to get, okay, so this is kind of, new for you guys so review we need to get the movie and then the review ID so first we're getting the movie ID and the review ID itself so we are passing to parameters we'll understand what I'm talking about uh, and we'll save ID sorry we'll do movie ID and then ID we'll do review ID and then let's check if the user is authenticated or not. It's authenticated, we'll get the movie first. Movie is movie.objects.get ID equals movie ID. And then we'll get the review. So review, it's gonna be review.objects.get movie equals movie and then we'll give id equals review id and then we need to check if the review was done by the logged in user so to do that we'll just take if request dot user double equals review dot user that means if the logged in user is the same as the one who did the review then we have the uh, permission we'll just grant permission to edit and then we'll do if request dot method double equals post is the same thing again we'll do form equals review form it's going to be request dot post and then instance is going to be review but we don't really need instance over here we'll say form dot is valid we'll do data equals form dot save commit is false and data dot save after we've done editing we'll just return redirect them to the details page and this time it's going to be movie ID okay so else it's going to be the same thing form is going to be the review form and then it will just get the instance as the review and then we'll just do return render request and we'll create a new uh, view for it which is going to be edit sorry review.html and it's going to get the form okay so if the user is not that we'll just return redirect them to the detail space and that was going to be movie id and uh, if they're not read logged in we'll just return redirect them to the login page okay so that is the logic behind editing it we'll just take it into our urls and then it's the same thing we'll do edit review and first parameter is movie so it's going to be movie id and the second parameter is the review id all right and it's going to be edit and review name is going to be this one over here okay that's correct so we'll go ahead and create this edit review.html real quick we'll just do this and html we are going to copy this and then we are going to paste it over here but the value this time it's going to be edit review and this is also going to be edit review okay 
Hopefully that should work. Let's just go ahead and try it. And since we may not know the ID, we'll just try ahead, go ahead and then in the details and over here, we'll just create a link saying edit and we'll refer it to the URL that we just created. It's going to be edit review movie.id review.id and then we'll say edit okay it should work all right there you go let's uh we are logged in as new so we should be able to edit all of these so let's go ahead and edit this <clears throat> and it just presents you with this form we say one more review instead of one let's just write two and then give the rating 99 so it is you know visible to us it says details is not a valid view or function name I know where we failed it it's just detail and detail okay so we'll say two more review edit review and there we go two more review let's try to edit this one as well we'll give it a 89 edit review 89 okay instead of edit review let's just go ahead and say save instead we'll say save changes because that seems like a logical you know prompt for the users to understand more save changes okay so let's just test if our user you know logged in is working or not and okay admin we won't be able to edit this one it says details not found same problem one more time it's not details it's just detail okay uh, let's do that one more time okay so we won't be able to do it and let's not show this in admin as well so to do that we'll go to details.html and check if request dot user equals review dot user and then we'll do end if and let's reload it one more time there you go so we won't be able to edit it okay so uh, our next video is gonna be about deleting those and then we'll also talk about deleting with a JavaScript alert so that it's more secure and that's it for this video until next time thanks for watching